obviously you can see it's like a vine-like growth. If you get it in your shrub beds, it'll often twist itself around your rose bushes or your other plants in your shrub beds. Creeping Charlie, just one of many different varieties of weeds and fungi that have invaded this lawn. But eliminating them and doing it in an environmentally friendly manner is not always easy. Today, Kevin McKenzie from Neutralon is showing us an alternative called Fiesta. So you're supposed to spray it to the point of saturation or to run off, right? The active ingredient in Fiesta is iron. The iron toxicity turns the weeds black and brown before they die. The broadleafs absorb the iron differently than turf grass, which isn't affected by the product. Well, iron is actually one of the micronutrients that'll help turf grass grow. If you spray this enough or in heavier amounts in a certain area, a few days later, it may actually green up the grass temporarily. Kelowna's 2009 pesticide bylaw regulates the use of cosmetic non-essential pesticides on residential properties. That includes herbicides and weed and feed. But a product like Fiesta, which is usually applied twice in May and twice in September, isn't necessarily cheap. You have to mix it at about two and a half times more rate when you mix it, and then your application rate, if you base it on a thousand square foot area, is three to four times more product applied to achieve the same results. So it starts to add up when you double it, and then you double it again, and then you have to triple it to apply it. Clover is another weed that is very difficult to get rid of. It has the ability to grab nitrogen from the atmosphere and fix it in its roots. That gives it its green color. In a lawn that's got a sufficient supply of nitrogen in the soil, like through regular applications of fertilizer, it's pretty rare to find clover. Clover doesn't like the soils that are rich in nitrogen, even though it kind of creates or makes its own. Use a weed control product to, to kill it or to get rid of it out of your lawn. Back that up with a regular application, a regular diet of fertilizer. Your grass will thicken up, it'll green up, and the nitrogen levels will come up in the soil. Very unlikely you'll have clover return. It also appears this lawn is infested with an underground fungus on old tree roots causing what is known as a fairy ring. It's marked by a white substance in the soil and results in a dead zone, often in a circle or arc shape. Seeding and watering does nothing, and eventually mushrooms will sprout here. The key is to aerate the soil and fill the holes with water, fertilize with nitrogen, and mow close. You can also dig up the entire area, but none of these steps will guarantee ridding the soil of the fungus. The mycelium that's in the fairy ring is hydrophobic, meaning that it just repels the water. So you could water this almost as much as you want, and the water's going to get funneled off to the edges of this fairy ring. And that's why it's nice and green here, and why it's nice and green in the middle. Poking holes in it with like a pitchfork or, a, or even a flat edge spade just to open it up a bit. We'll get the water in there which will give the moisture to the root system of the grass and then the grass should stay filled in. You're most likely always going to have the fairy ring here for probably several years until it runs its course. But with the proper care, it should blend in. Really only under periods of extreme moisture will you maybe get a little ring of mushrooms. Some other tips to keep your lawn weed and fungus free. Don't overwater. Water early in the morning before the sun comes up. Keep your mower blade sharp, but don't cut too low. Aerate the soil at least once a year, overseed or slit seed the turf, and ensure a balanced diet of fertilizer. Too little or too much can damage the grass. If that's all you do all summer is to spray your weeds, you're going to be spraying weeds all summer. If you don't fertilize, if you don't mow tall, if you don't water deeply, if you don't top dress, if you don't do all those other things, the weeds will just keep coming back. Do everything you can to make it thick and dense and lush and healthy.